Hey YouTube, um, so I'm back. I tried to do this video last night, well, early, early this morning. Um, I know I posted a video of some box openings of my um, Harley Quinn statue from Suicide Squad, or the second edition of it, and of this guy earlier, the flock. Wow, that could sound really bad. <laughs> Star Wars uh, Chewbacca. Um, I think this was December's uh, or January's. January's Smuggler's Box. Um, and he's freaking cool, I have to admit. Um, I also talked to Smuggler's Run or Smuggler's Bounty, excuse me, about an. Uh, issue I was curious about so I'm going to get that resolved um, but I'm going to do it after next month's box uh, it's next month's March's box excuse me but this video is about movies coming out that I'm excited to see and a TV show that just aired last Thursday but I haven't seen it yet because I totally spaced that was coming out uh, that show is Legends of Tomorrow it should be interesting because, to me, it's kind of like um, Suicide Squad and the fact that it's kind of villains saving the day. At least that's my impression. I haven't really seen it. Um, I know one or two of the villains is from Arrow, so that's why I say it's, to me it's like Suicide Squad. I probably watch it while I fall asleep because I have an 8 a.m. class tomorrow morning that I need to make sure I'm ready for and another class after that so I probably make a review tomorrow of it um, and post it and then it's every Thursday and I have a kind of an issue with that because my another show that I really really enjoy and I haven't missed an episode The Big Bang Theory is on Thursday nights so I'm always going to watch Big Bang Theory first I don't have TV here so I have to watch it after it's come out what I have no problem with. But, to get into the movies now, I actually have a list. Last night I tried doing this and it took an hour. And I really didn't mean it for it to take that long. But, I have a better list that I have about it. It took me half an hour just to go through all the movies from oh, the earliest one. Actually, some of them start uh, aired or started in theaters in early part of January. Uh, none of them are in my top ten movies I need to see when they come out. Um, in this list, of course, number one is Deadpool. These are in no order specifically, besides for probably the, the top three. Uh, number one is, of course, Deadpool. Uh, that comes out February 12th of this year and I'm excited about that because well I just keep watching the trailers and knowing that uh, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool it should be a really good movie not saying that it's because of him it's going to be a good movie it's just going to be an awesome movie a lot of gore, a lot of blood a lot of fighting, things that I actually like watching movies second is Batman vs. Superman, Dawn, uh, Dawn of the Justice, or excuse me, Dawn of Justice. This comes out on March 25th of this year. The reason I'm excited about this is, yes, it is two days before my 29th birthday. But this is, I, I don't know what to say. I want to see these two go at it. But it also introduces everybody in the Justice League. Like Aquaman, who has a film coming out. 2017, probably later part, 2018, um, Wonder Woman, she probably has a movie, I know she has a movie coming out, but not until the later part of 2017, I do want to say, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the bottom, it would, just to make sure I'm correct about this, uh, number three is Suicide Squad, my Holly Quinn, that's right now is on my TV stand. Um, I just haven't figured out a place to put her yet. I kind of have an idea where I would put her, 
but I need to wait. Um, actually, I, should, I lied. Top five I'm excited to see. I just looked at my list. Uh, number four is Captain America Civil War. Watch the trailer again for that one. Mm. I just want to see Torn to Stark get his ass kicked. Don't get me wrong, I do like Iron Man. But the tag team between Captain America and the Winter Soldier versus Iron Man, that part of the trailer was awesome. I just want to see what happens, or the result of that, and see what actually happens. Um, the fifth one is X-Men Apocalypse. I'm, I am an X-Men fan. I just don't have any memorabilia from X-Men because I just started kind of collecting um, all this stuff. Um, I am also a Star Wars fan. And maybe one day I would just show you. I mean, I don't have a lot of Star Wars memorabilia. I do have the movies. Um, I'm just going to start collecting a little bit over the time. Number six uh, is Gods of Egypt. This comes out February 26th of this year. So it does come out before Deadpool, but I will see Deadpool, excuse me, Deadpool before I see um, Gods of Egypt. And by the way, Suicide Squad is August 6th. I don't remember if I just said that. Uh, Captain America is May 6th. And X-Men Apocalypse is the 27th of May. So there's two movies in May that I really, really, really want to see. Uh, the next one is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, June 3rd of this year. Uh, followed by Star Trek Beyond, July 23rd. Uh, London Has Fallen, March 4th. And Hail Caesar, what came out, or it comes out the 5th of February. And Central Intelligence, June uh, 17th of this year. Now, this is my top 10 movies I do want to see. From 5 Down is not in order of when I would see it. But I at least have a movie coming out from now till August um, when I start school again. Or I would start fall term a couple of weeks later after uh, Suicide Squad comes out. The honorable mentions that I do have in this. Are movies like 13 Hours, The Secret Soldier of Bunga, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> Baganzi, not Baganzi. Anyways, this is uh, it's 13 Hours, Baganzi. I know I'm saying that wrong. I'm sorry, but I do want to see it. Um, ironically, I was going through some of my the magazines I subscribe to, and. It has, um, I am totally spacing on his name. I am looking through here really fast, and I'm sorry about this. John Kaczynski, um, from The Office, is in the 13 Hours, and he's on Men's Health for, uh, Feb January, February. So, it should be good. Uh, Dirty Grandpa. Oh, and these two movies I do know are out right now. I'm just not going to have time to go see them and do everything else I need to do. Um, right now, at least. Fifty Shades of Black. It either just came out or is coming out this week, I think. I would like to see it. i probably wait for it to be on video. Or if I somehow get time or when I'm... Actually, probably over spring break, if it's still in movie theaters for me, I probably see some of these movies. Uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies looks promising. Um, it's basically set in the era of when Jane Austen had wrote uh, this, well, the book. Um, it's in that time frame, so it should be interesting. Um, and the interesting thing about that. Is to see how they actually deal with the zombies in that era. Or see how the director tried to work it in. Uh, the Divergent series, Allegiant, is coming out. Um, now You See Me 2 is coming out. and 
the trailer for that one is promising. Um, that's all I can say because I watched it like twice. Um, and even then, I didn't know. I did like the first Now You See Me. It was a good movie. Uh, Inferno's coming out later this year. Um, I'm a fan of that because if you guys have watched Da Vinci Code or um, Angels and Demons, it's the same character. He's just going to different places. And Tom Hanks is really good, let's face it. Another movie is Doctor Strange. Um, that's coming in out, I almost could say 2017. No, it is later part of 2016. Um, because I have the honorable mentions of this year, what I want to see this year, and then movies I'm excited for in 2017. Uh, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I kind of want to see it. But I'm not too sure about it yet. It's still out there. I don't think I've seen um, any trailers for it. But I am excited to see it because it is Star Wars. But I'm not sure if I want to see it in theaters. Or if I just want to watch it on TV or um, Redbox or Netflix or whatever. Actually, I'll probably Amazon Prime it since I have Prime membership. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's a uh, J.K. Rowling's uh, book. It's supposed to be before Hogwarts um, or the Harry Potter series. At least that's what I'm hearing. Not too sure. I saw that one, um, the trailer for it, when I went to see Episode 7. So, I mean, it looks good. Only time to tell. Assassin's Creed is coming out later this year, and I'm I'm on the ropes for it. I mean, I'm excited because I do like Assassin's Creed. I do have some of their games for PS4, just not the newest one because I didn't have the money at the time. Um, and mainly that, and the only the closest game store we have here where I live is an hour away. I have Walmart. Their prices are not are not reasonable for video games, especially when they are out for a while. Like for example, Black Ops Three, I can get it for thirty nine ninety nine or thirty dollars, or let's just say forty. Walmart still at sixty dollars. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Um, supposedly there's a Born sequel, uh, Jason Bourne, that is, and Matt Damon. Damon, Demon, Damon, yeah. Um, he is back in uh, his role, so it'll be interesting to see. I am a fan of him, and it just it would be a good movie. Um, I just saw a trailer for this, The Huntsman, uh, Winter's War. Chris Hemsworth is in this movie, so Thor is in it. So I kind of do want to see it, not because of him. It just looks good, and it would be an interesting movie. Now, Ghostbusters. I'm sorry. Part of me hope, wishes this wasn't coming out. And no, I'm not sexist or anything. I just like the original. I don't agree with Hollywood remaking some of the classics. Sometimes it's a bit good. Sometimes, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. But I will go see it. Um, because some of the original cast does make a cameo in this. So, it might be worth it. I, I'm i just on the ropes with it. Um, it also comes, I think it comes out this summer. Only time will tell. If I see more uh, trailers for it, and it actually looks good, then I'd be more excited about it. Uh, films that I'm excited about coming out in 2017. Now, the first one, of course, is Episode 8. As many people know, 
The movie's been pushed back seven months. It was supposed to come out in May. Um, was it this year? Yeah, it was May of this year. It was supposed to come out. Uh, on, yeah, it was on May. I'm sorry. I'm just doing the math in my head. But again, oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's supposed to come out this year. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, I get pushed back seven months. I'm not sure why. There's only rumors of why it got put back. I'm not going to start a rumor mill. But I am excited to see it because it's supposed to be showing us more of the lineage of the Skywalkers. A.K.A. Ray. <clears throat> yeah, I say Ray is Luke's daughter. We don't know this. But there's some uh, YouTube videos that's pretty convincing that it is Ray's daughter. Or Luke's daughter. Excuse me. The second movie I'm very excited about in 2017 is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, I just like the first one. I want to see what happens in the second one. Um, there's another film I'm excited about. It's Gambit. I don't have I don't remember exactly when it comes out, besides for 2017. But Channing Tatum is in Gambit, just like he's in Hail Caesar. Um. Well, Hail Caesar has so many actors. It's <laughs> it's almost overdoing it on the number of actors that are huge. But I get on. I do understand why they did that. Um. The third in 2017 that I'm excited about is uh, War for the Planet of the Apes. I know I've said that I'm not a fan of them redoing original movies or classic movies. I wasn't too keen on when Planet of the Apes came out, but they, they um, newer movies I actually do like. They look good, and I think they're funny as hell. Uh, number four is the Equalizer uh, two, so Denzel Washington. Yeah, it was Denzel Washington in the Equalizer, and I just thought it was a great thing. He's funny, he's stern, and he can kick some ass. Um, number five is Thor Ragnarok. It's another Thor movie, let's face it. It's supposed to be good. And Sally, I think this one he's supposed to die in. I hope I'm not ruining it for anybody. But if memory serves me, I think the rumor is Thor dies in this one. But that also leads up, up to the rumor that uh, Thor now becomes a female. So who knows how that's going to end. Um... Only time to tell. Number six is the Legion of Superheroes. There's no trailers for any of these because they're early part of 2017, if not later part of 2017. So I couldn't find anything. As time moves on, I will let you guys know, and I will rank them and see what they're like, or if I would want to see them right away. But most of these I do know I'm gonna go see right away, or as soon as possible, um, or as soon as I can. Number seven is uh, Fantastic Four. Number two, I hope it's the same characters as before. Um, I just like it when they're consistent with the people and the roles. Uh, just to see what they do. Uh, number eight is the last Wolverine movie. Uh, Hugh Jackman has said that he only has one more film in him for Wolverine at least. So I'm hoping it's a good movie. Um, let's see. Because I don't know if they're going to do another Wolverine after this. And there's actually... There's a collection of Wolverine movies I want to get. Because I do have the one where he goes to Japan. I'm just not remembering the name off the top of my head. But the collection I want to get has Antimanium. Say that ten times fast. Claws. Um, it's a collector's item. I wouldn't mind getting it. Some of the stuff I've seen now, I didn't know was out a while ago. So 
I'm just now collecting what I can get or afford at the time. Um, as well as Wolverine, uh, there's Kong, Skull Island. It's basically the story of King Kong. Just like they've done for Godzilla, they're doing King Kong now. Uh, it looks, it could be promising. I haven't seen any trailers for it, so who really knows right at this time. Uh, number nine is The Dark Tower. It's a King, uh, Stephen King series book. What in my pile over here, I do have one of his newer books that I need to try to read. But I have a ton of other books I should read or I want to read before. So I have priorities. One of them is doing well in school. That should always be a priority is do well in school. Succeed there. Succeed in life. Have time to do other things like play video games. Read or do whatever you need to do. Um, number 10, there, it's divided. Uh, the Divergent series, Ascendant, is supposed to come out in 2017. And that is the third video or film, excuse me, of the Divergent series, I do believe. And I think it is the last one. So let's see how Tris does and how she, if she makes it. And the uh, type of that one is the Maze Runner. Did, uh, the Death Cure, excuse me. I think that's the last one too. I am not the biggest biggest fan of the Maze Runner. But it does have action, so I do sit there and watch it. If not fall asleep to it. See it in theaters? Maybe. The Divergent series? We'll see. Like I said, this list can change. In my opinion, since it is not until 2017 that these films do come out. As far as I'm concerned, the top 10 that I've said for this year that I want to see, I am seeing. And I would let you guys know if it's worth it or not. Being a college student, I'm picky. I want to make sure my money... I get my money's worth. I do know from Deadpool, Batman vs. Superman, and Su uh, si <laughs> excuse me, Suicide Squad... Captain America and X Men Apocalypse and Egypt's actually all those ten movies, I will get what I want, and it would be great. There's okay. As we know, we lost Robin Williams about a year ago. While I was putting this list together, I ran across or excuse me across a film. That's coming out in 2017. The reason I bring up Robin Williams is he was in this film. It was released in 1995 or 1996. It's Jumanji. Being a Robin Williams fan... I am not happy that they are remaking this film. The original is great. I don't get why they want to remake it. Like I said, I'm not too thrilled. That being said, I I just watched the trailers. If it's good, I probably see it. But if it sucks, I will rant about it. I'm just not happy. And I know I told a couple friends already that they're making it, and I know they were not happy. But only time will tell. And yeah, I'm just not sure yet. Anyways, um, I would post my review of Legends of Tomorrow last week's show, and let you see. It's a pilot. It's I think it was 45 minutes. I just didn't want to watch it. Before I did this, um, I will watch it as I fold some clothes, put them away, and get ready for bed. But anyways, if you guys like this, please subscribe and like this video. I am still in the process of thinking of a name for a new channel where I will start posting films on or vlogs on there or unboxings. 
Um, I just wanted to try to grow this channel and see what I can do. And it means the world if you subscribe and you like it, please tell your friends or whoever you know on YouTube. And it'd be grateful. Well, I'd be grateful, I should say. And the more I get, say, if I do like all these uh, boxes that I'm doing, I might be able to say, hey, can we have some kind of partnership so I can at least give discount or help give a discount for the boxes like some of the other YouTubers do. But anyways, I'm going to end this now because it's longer than I thought I would do. Um, I hope you guys have a good night, and please subscribe. Bye.